Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I was about to sing a song, but I didn't know where that was going. I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> Here we are back with another video. I'm super, super, super excited to share with you guys this video. It just kind of what the Lord um, has placed on my heart to speak about tonight um, or today. You know, let's not waste any more time. So let's get into it. So um, to start off with, um, so yesterday, um, yesterday afternoon, I was watching this podcast and it was called The Heart of Dating. And it's a really, really, really good podcast. I recommend it for, you know, if you're in a relationship, relationship or if you're single, it's a really, really good podcast. Um, and so in this particular um, episode, um, the lady, she was talking about the first time she met her husband. And um, it was very, very interesting story. So basically what she um, was talking about was how like this guy you know was like interested in her and everything and you know she checked out his instagram page right and she looked through his photos and she's like mm, you know a lot of he wasn't exactly her type right he wasn't her quote unquote ideal type the type of guy that she um is usually attracted to but she ended up you know giving him a shot right giving him a chance and it actually ended up being um, probably one of her biggest blessings in disguise, right? Because um, she's marrying him. Um, and so, but one thing that she talked about that I thought was just so like profound was like during that season in her life, her um, she was going on like a three month like period where she was just like um, going on dates with a bunch of like Christian guys and she wasn't, go um, but during that three month period, you know the rule was like you can't commit to anybody or like um you know not do anything serious you know but just the three months just like kind of like test the waters right and just kind of get to know them and so at the time when she met her husband she was like really she was dating a bunch of other guys and so um and her motto at the time was you know um I can't remember exactly what it was but it was something along the lines of like keep an open mind right she didn't want to automatically like close the door on any guy that you know that was the point of this three-month process right to keep your mind open and so <laughs> she ends up going out um, with this guy in particular and you know they hit it off very well and just the entire process of her getting to know him like she just had peace throughout the entire relationship you know peace that she hadn't felt in other previous relationships even though they were her quote-unquote ideal type and so um that little segment <laughs> it spoke volumes to me because what i really want to talk with you guys about and what the lord has really been speaking to me about is to expect the unexpected and it really had me thinking like how many times does like w does god give us something and we're, we're so quick to reject it like oh no like that's not what i want oh no that's not what i had planned but i feel like in my life it really made me reflect on like how many times you know are we so quick to reject what god is giving us and it really made me think back to that story um, in the Bible, in the book of Acts, where um, God gives Peter a vision. And in this vision, there, um, you know, because Peter, he's a Jew, and Jews, they follow certain customs and where they're not allowed to eat like certain foods, right? And so in the vision, there are these animals that were like, you know like off limits right they could not eat them and like those are things like they knew like it was off limits but in the vision that the lord gave him you know god spoke to peter and he told him do, do not call what is clean unclean and another word for unclean would be common when we treat something as common we treat it as like just normal it's ordinary nothing special to it so god gave, gives peter this vision and he says, do not call what is 
um, clean, unclean. And as we read further on into the book of Acts, that vision um, was God's way of speaking to Peter that this news, the good news of Jesus Christ, is not only for Jews, but it's for the Gentiles as well. So that's just kind of what, <laughs> um, what it made me think of. Um, that story and I also want to share with you guys um, this scripture in Isaiah 55 8 through 9 and it says my thoughts are nothing like your thoughts says the Lord and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine for just as the heavens are higher than the earth so my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts higher than your thoughts and so this scripture it just really puts us puts everything into perspective I feel like because you know, if God is presenting something to us, we can trust him. The, the scripture tells us that we can trust him, that his ways are literally higher than our ways. His thoughts are literally higher than our thoughts. And like, there are certain things that the Lord may put in front of us, right? And that, and we're not able to fully like comprehend or see the full picture of what he's doing in, in that situation. But we can trust him in knowing that like, he is far beyond our ways and our thoughts and, and, and anything that we can ever really truly comprehend here on earth. And so that's just kind of what I wanted to um, encourage you guys with. Um, for me, I think a prayer, um, I wanna pray for myself and for you guys, if you um, want to join in with this, is that like, Father, like show me things in my life that I have rejected, things, um, in my life that you have given me as, as a gift, something to bless me with. But I was like, no, like, I don't want that. Maybe um, it could be like people, you know? Maybe God has brought people on your path and you just kind of was like, oh, no, nah, I don't, I really want nothing to do with them or um, whatever the case may be. But I really feel like the, the Lord is um, in this season, he's giving us an open, an invitation to come into agreement with his will in our lives and to really just to trust him that he's leading us and he's guiding us um, in the right direction and so maybe in our lives you know there's people that we have maybe rejected there may be ideas there are things i believe that god has um he wants he that he's wanting to give us that um, he intends to bless us with and through but so many times like we're so focused we're so narrow-minded right on what we think we want on what we think is best for us that um we don't get to experience you know the fullness of what he has for us and so i just really wanted to encourage you guys to like keep an open heart keep an open mind on things that you you thought you would never do you things you thought you would you would never say things you people you thought you'd never be friends with you know um and i really believe that like god is going to surprise you like if you keep an open heart if you keep an open mind on certain things and situations and like i i think there are god will bless you in just unexpected ways and so that's what i really just want to leave you guys with and encourage you guys on because that's what that's how the lord is really challenging me in this season you know not be so quick to you know close the door on something or to re or to reject an idea or or a person that god puts on my path because i truly believe that god he's intentional and that everything he does it, it has a purpose behind it and so expect the unexpected because god he's full of surprises he is not one that can be like locked up in a box like he he is so much beyond any box he's so much beyond anything that we can imagine or think of so that is it so i just pray that you guys are blessed i pray that you guys are encouraged i pray that you guys are just keep an open mind because who knows expect the unexpected